very good morning students today we are going to see the very interesting and very important topic that is uh, laws of motion um, when we hear the word laws of motion means the first thing that came into our mind is sir isaac newton isn't it so each and every object in the universe interacts with every other object for example the cool breeze interacts with the tree and the tree interacts with the earth like that every object in the universe or interact with every other object okay and objects move because something pushes or pulls them for example if a book is at rest it will not move unless a force is applied on it in other words to move an object a force must be applied on it we know so aristotle said that force causes motion but the statement is based on common sense and in 15th century Galileo challenged Aristotle's idea by doing a series of experiment and he said force is not required to maintain motion so Galileo demonstrated his own idea by using the following simple experiment in this video we will be talking about Galileo's observation Galileo was a famous scientist who was very much interested in physics maths astronomy as well as philosophy and one of his main contribution to the scientific world was his study of motion of bodies in inclined plane he found out that the body uh, i mean when a moving body has no external unbalanced forces acting on it then there will be no change in its velocity of movements it will be moving forever with the same velocity throughout and when a body rolls down in the inclined plane like this the velocity increases that is it has a certain velocities at this point by the time it reaches the end of the point its velocity has increased now when a body climbs up in this inclined plane what happens its velocity decreases and it reaches to zero at some point of time what galileo did in his experiment was that he placed two such inclined planes in such a way these two planes faced each other like this now galileo argued that when the marble is released from this point then it would roll down from this first inclined plane and then it could climb up in the second inclined plane and what happened is it will reach the same height in the second plane as well now what i am trying to say is in this two planes are identical in their angle of inclination these two planes of angle of incl inclination are exactly the same and now when the marble is released from a point and it rolls down from the first plane and then climbs up in the second plane that is to the right and what it does at the end it reaches the same height from where it was released and it reaches to the right corner at the same height and now when the marble is released from left it would roll down from the slope and go up on the opposite side to the same height from which it was released if the inclination of the planes on both sides are equal then the marble will climb the same distance that it covered while rolling down now we can vary these angles and study what will happen afterwards when we reduce this angle to the right hand side of the figure here now what would happen is now what we have done here is we have reduced the angle of inclination in the right hand side and here the left hand side the angle angle of inclination is greater than the angle of inclination in the right hand side now what happens here is the marble again rolls down and climbs up in the right hand side in plane plane and even in this case it reaches the same height in that side now what is the difference here the difference here is that it has covered a different distance in both the sides that is the distance it has covered to reach the same height in the right hand side is greater than the distance covered by rolling down from the left hand side this is because the angle of inclination are different in a uh, right hand side the angle of inclination that is 
the angle of inclination is less than left hand side so the marble rolls up and covers a greater distance in order to reach the same height in the right plane when we decrease the right hand side angle again we see the marble covers even greater distance in this case that is in an attempt to reach the same height to the right hand side it covers a greater distance now if we go on decreasing this angle to the right hand side then what would happen is we would make the right hand side angle is zero that is we can reduce the slope of this right inclination to zero and in that case what would happen the marble will roll down the first plane as usual but it would roll to the second plane forever because no matter how long it rolls it would never reach the same height that is it has initially released from left hand side the unbalanced forces on this marble is zero here this shows that an unbalanced force is required to change the motion of an object but no net force is needed to maintain a uniform motion now this marble rolls down and rolls for a while and then comes to a stop and we know very well this is because of the extra force is that comes into play when the marble starts rolling and that is what we called as frictional force which depends on the area of contact of two surfaces now we can minimize the effect of frictional force here by using a smooth marble and a smooth plane applying a lubricant on top of the plane from this whole of the experiment what galileo concludes is that it is a tendency of the body to oppose any change in the state of motion or rest that is it means if the body in a state of rest the body has a tendency to maintain its state to rest it would resist any kind of changes in its state that is suppose the body is in motion already and since the body is in, is in motion its ten, uh, tendency to maintain the same state always isn't it this tendency of the body have a particular name called what Inertia. Um, inertia is the property of any body we take to oppose any change in its state of motion or rest in this video what we learn is the velocity of the body increases when it rolls down an inclined plane and it decreases when the body rolls up the plane if the body rolls between two planes inclined equally it will attain the same height on both the sides if the inclination of the second plane is gradually decreased the body rolls over a larger distance in order to reach the same height when the second plane is horizontal the body continues to move indefinitely but in practice the body comes to rest due to friction when the surface of the second plane is rough the body would cover less distance now we are going to see the three laws of newton um newton's first law newton's second law and uh, newton's third law and what is newton's first law every object continues to be in the state of rest or of uniform motion unless there is external force acting on it so this inability of objects to move on its own or change its state of motion is called inertia which means inertia means is a property of matter by virtue of which an object continues in its existing state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless an external force changes the state and depending on the circumstance uh, there can be three types of inertia now let us see inertia of rest so inertia of rest is a tendency of a body at rest to continue to remain at rest unless is applied on it for example when you observed when the bus starts moving all of us sudden the passengers tend to move in the backward direction so this is because the body which is contact with the bus which begins to move and the other part of the body due to inertia continues to remain at rest and second one is inertia of motion so it is a tendency of a body in a uniform motion to continue to travel in a straight line unless an external force act on it 
for example when the moving bus all of a sudden then the passengers tend to move in forward direction this is because the body contact with the bus comes to rest and other part of their body due to inertia of motion continues to move the one more example a man jumping from moving bus falls forward so this is also another example of inertia of motion next inertia of direction the tendency of a body by which it is unable to change the direction of uh, motion unless same external unbalanced force is applied on it is called what inertia of direction uh, for example when a stone attached to a string is in rolling motion and if the string is cut suddenly the stone will not continue to move in circular motion but moves tangential to the circle so that is called what inertia of direction now let us see inertial frame of reference uh, there are two types of frame of reference that is a uh, first one is uh, inertial frame of reference and uh, second one is non inertial frame of reference now let us see inertial frame of reference when a newton's law are applicable is called inertial frame of reference for example Uh, now let us take the simple example the earth here all the newton's law are applicable when we consider the motion with respect to earth so earth becomes our simplest inertial frame of reference frame of reference is at rest or going at constant velocity if the respect to inertial frame of reference is also called inertial frame of reference so any object which is at rest are going with the constant velocity with respect to earth then such a frame of reference is called what inertial frame of reference for example a bus is moving with a constant velocity with respect to the earth is called as inertial frame of reference and now let us see non inertial frame of reference and otherwise we are called as accelerated frame of reference so frame of reference accelerating with respect to inertial frame of reference for example a bus accelerating with respect to earth are termed as also a bus accelerating with respect to another bus which is moving with constant velocity or termed as accelerated frame of reference so these kind of accelerated frame are called non inertial frame